All right, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the PPE cast iron heads. This will go from a 2004.5 to a 2010. So if you guys own a LOY, an LBZ, or an LMM, this is the application for you guys. Now, if you own an LB7 Duramax, your 01s to 2004, I did do a YouTube video on the PPE cast iron heads, a pretty in-depth video if you wanna check that out. Watch till the very end because we're gonna be putting these on a scale and getting the weight of them and comparing them to a set of OE or aluminum Duramax cylinder heads. And before we get into this review, I just wanna let you guys know, just a little report, I did install a set of these on another Duramax, uh, my wife's truck actually, the LB7, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it pays itself back just when you turn that key because the truck is much quieter. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a red-blooded American just like everybody else, and I know you guys love the sound of diesel engines, but if you're driving it every single day, it is kinda nice to tame the beast just a little bit, and these will definitely do the job. It's gonna make your engine a lot quieter, which is good. It's gonna sound a lot better. And actually, you're gonna hear your exhaust more instead of just your engine, which is kinda nice. Especially for some of you guys that own the older diesels or you're just running straight piped exhausts. So either way, these are your exhaust manifolds. This does not come with the kit. I just place it on there because it looks cool. But if you guys decide to do a set of head gaskets and head studs, I would highly recommend that you pick up a set of exhaust manifolds and up pipes from PPE as well. As a matter of fact, I offer all of these on my website, so I'll leave a link in the description as well as the comments below, truckmasterdiesel.com. We offer a variety of diesel truck parts, not just for Duramax, but also for Power Stroke and Cummins as well. Now the part number on this is 11010103. There's no core return for this, so you're just basically purchasing a set and that's it, you don't have to send in your old heads, which is awesome. Now as far as pricing goes, they're listed around $1,500 a piece for each head, and of course if you buy both a set, you're looking at $3,000. Now on the website, I do offer a bundle kit, so you're not messing around. You're gonna be able to purchase a set of PPE head studs as well. This is a really nice kit, by the way. So the bundle kit is gonna come with the head studs, a grade C head gaskets as well as cast iron heads. But the OEM Duramax cast aluminum cylinder heads fall short over time and the different heat expansion rates between cast iron engine block and cast iron aluminum cylinder heads cause head gasket scrubbing and eventually it blows the head gaskets. Not to mention the aluminum cylinder heads are also prone to warping, melting and or cracking in high performance applications where the excessive heat is induced. But these new cast iron cylinder heads is the ultimate upgrade for your Duramax engine and it eliminates any head gasket or cracking concerns. The overall build construction, it's cast from high quality alloyed gray iron. The cylinder head also shares the same heat expansion rate as a stock cast iron cylinder block, so no more blown head gaskets. Also, each head comes complete with upgraded valve train components. All valves are made of superior material and fully nitrated. The tapered valve springs, higher spring rate, and lighter retainer locators enables faster response during higher RPMs and eliminates valve float. The powder metal valve seats provide superior wear and high resistance, so the denser and stiffer material properties from the cast iron construction also significantly reduces heat clatter. Each head comes complete with brand new springs, spring retainers, spring locators, valves, valve seats, valve keepers, valve guides, rocker arms, dowels, and freeze plugs. So that's kind of the specs on that one right there. I would say another really cool plus on this is the fact that when you do your head gasket job, you don't have to take off your cylinder heads and bring them to a machine shop. You don't have to mess around with that. Really all you gotta do is just purchase this unit. You can even sell your old heads and take that money and put it back into your build. That can go for a lot of different things, but when it comes to head studs, head gaskets, and of course getting your heads on there, this is the bulletproof option. You're definitely gonna wanna do this. You're gonna wanna go with the cast iron style instead of aluminum. It's most definitely gonna last the lifetime of your vehicle for sure. So with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get it on the scale and see how much this thing weighs. All right, so let's go with the aluminum head first. <laughs> 38.2, so 38 pounds. All right, let's go ahead and grab the behemoth massive cast iron heads, you can only imagine. We'll just put it on there like that, 88.2, so 88 pounds. Okay, so Duramax aluminum cylinder head, 38 pounds. PPE cast iron head, 88 pounds. So you're looking at an extra 50 pounds, which is pretty significant. I would say the only downside at this point is installing the cylinder head <laughs> just because it's heavy. So just be careful on that aspect. But my overall review, obviously I installed the set on my Duramax like I talked about. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna go back to it. The first initial startup is you're gonna notice a huge difference. It's just gonna sound much better. It's gonna sound healthier. And not to mention when you purchase a set of these, you don't have to worry about getting a valve job. It's already there. You got all new springs, all new retainers, 
all new everything. Literally all you guys have to do is just bolt this on. And the other aspect to this is if you decide to upgrade your turbo, say you wanna put a 64 millimeter on it, maybe a 68, 66, maybe an S300, maybe go the big dog route and throw compounds on it, possibly get it up to 900 to 1000 horsepower. This is your option right here. You definitely wanna go this route. We talked about pricing in the beginning of the video. I know that's very important. This stuff isn't cheap. Again, you're talking about a set of cast iron cylinder heads that are gonna run you $3,000. I mean, that's a lot of money. But if you plan on buying a set of cylinder heads on the internet, you're looking at about $1,500, maybe $1,200 for a set of aluminum heads. You can easily do that. So if you were to go this route, you're gonna be spending an extra roughly 1,500 bucks. And why are cast iron cylinder heads better than aluminum heads? When I think of a cast iron cylinder head, usually the first thing that comes to mind is a Dodge Cummins. If you think about it, the Dodge Cummins has been around for over 100 years. And what do they use on their engines? They use a cast iron cylinder head. And it's always been that way. And when talking about a Duramax engine, it's cast iron. Why not match it with cast iron cylinder heads? Instead of a lighter grade material like aluminum cylinder heads that they put on from the factory. So if I'm gonna justify spending roughly 1500 extra dollars on my head gasket job, in my opinion, that's gonna be the best option so I don't have to redo this job ever again or ever have to worry about anything. So to answer that very simple question, it's definitely your better option to go with cast iron versus aluminum. But when it comes to something as complex as doing head gaskets on a diesel engine, I would highly recommend that you get the best parts. And not to mention monthly, we've been running giveaways on our website. So if you purchase something on the website, it's gonna get you guys entries in to win whatever product we're giving away. Like for example, this month, we're giving away a free turbo. So definitely get entered in for that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments about cast iron heads, if you've already ran them, let us know in the comments what you think about them. Good, bad, or indifferent, I would love to read them. Everybody wants to be enlightened. This is my first experience running cast iron. And at this point, I'm pretty impressed. But you guys let me know in the comments what you think. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Stay tuned.